Two weeks after narrowly winning a party room ballot, Isabel Redmond has finally unveiled her new look shadow cabinet. But it bears a striking resemblance to the old one, leaving some far from happy. She's likened it to a Rubik's cube, but Isabel Redmond reckons she's finally solved it. Ultimately, it's my decision. But it still left some offside. New Deputy Stephen Marshall had designs on Treasury. Normally, the Deputy will have a choice of portfolio. But not this time, Ian Evans hanging on to the role. Not because he's a supporter of mine, but because he has been doing a magnificent job. He is by far our strongest parliamentary performer. Is he better than you? Oh, well, I'm certainly not going to put myself down. It was complex. She acknowledges that it was complex. Marshall takes on health, dashing the hopes of another colleague. Martin Hamill-Smith was going to give me the health portfolio, so I think there's a fairly good chance I'll end up with the health portfolio. Duncan has always indicated that he has a passion for health, but uh, equally he has indicated to me that he's very happy to have transport and infrastructure. The 15 strong shadow cabinet with four parliamentary secretaries means that 19 of the 25 member Liberal Party room have been given senior responsibility. But not the failed challenger. I would have been uh, available to do whatever I was called upon to do should I have been contacted, but I wasn't, so that's the call of the leader. As I would have done had I lost the ballot, he's gone to the back bench by his choice and that's where he wants to be at the moment. Tom Richardson, 9 News.